likewise now take the case number 3 we could not get the figure of the sales also if third is the case we could not get the figure of the sales also in this case I have done the same I ask ok just tell me in terms of low and high that is if you are comfortable tell in terms of high or low so it is high low high low high low high low like this can you make a graph out of it whatever figure you write that is not important make a graph out of it HL 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 you write something make a graph out of it what sort of graph you will make hmm. can you see there will be only 4 points at the maximum there will be 4 points no fifth point available when advertisement is low it is low high high low high high low then if the number is coming again high high 1 again high high then we will say ok 1 plus 1 only this much will come so how many low low points were there 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so ultimately what sort of data I will make I will write something like 45, 15, 25, 5. This is what how many dots means 5 dots means there were the 5 cases when advertisement was high and sales was low. Are you with me? Getting it what we are talking about? Okay, draw the regression line. draw a line which passes through all does it make sense no ok take the mean of these two take the mean of these two does it make sense stop for a moment mean is always taken about the variable is it a variable 25 what is that it is a count we take mean of age of weight of sales we never take mean like 4 girls are there 6 boys are there I will take ok add up the 2 and 5 <laughs> what is it I can take the mean of girls height I can take the means of boys height if I take the number of girls divided by their that does not make so it is it is not the variable it is the count it does not make sense hmm? which technique we should apply look carefully it is nothing but cross tabulation is it like cross tabulation are you aware of this sort of way if I will tell you what is cross tabulation I give you two figures gender in this workshop there are 20 boys and 30 girls the place they belong to from the Delhi there are 25 from outside Delhi they are 25 <coughs> two sort of data is there two univariate are there my question is how many girls are there from the Delhi? How many girls are there from the Delhi? You cannot tell? What I will do? I will try to have this sort of data male, female, Delhi, outside, male will be 20, this will be 30, 25, 25. Now I will segregate into this format, that means 10 are here. 15 are here, 10 are here and 15 are here. How many girls are from Delhi? 15 girls are there. This is called as contingency table or cross tabulation. Cross tabulation means one variable in row, one variable in column. And what the intersection point? That is count as the count. So please look for when we have made this much, this is nothing but cross tabulation. Sales high, sales low, advertisement low and high. dots boxes forget about it that is why I said you make your own graph you write anything high high 1 low high advertisement uh, high this is low high low 1 point high high where should I put it high high but already 1 point is there 1 plus 1 ok low low ok Again low low 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 if 100 are there it will be like this. So what it will ultimately give me it will give me simply a number 
5. It will give me a number. And what is this number? What is 5? 5 means a count. Of what count? When advertisement was high but the sales was low. Okay. This is called as the cross tabulation. The statistical test is called as chi square test. And if I am not wrong, you are familiar with it because all the people feel very comfortable that okay, these are the marks for free. There is a row total, there is a column total, grand total. This is observed expected frequency is equal to row total by column total into grand total divided by this O minus E whole square. You require that stuff? O minus E whole square by E summation of that and we compare it. You remember that? That is called as the cross tabulation. Ma'am, your query. Contingency table is a graphical uh, this representation cross chi square test okay cross tabulation and contingency table both are the same <laughs> yes chi square test is a test is a statistical test this is not a test this is a way of representation that's why i had given this example gender place so if i use bivariate you get better picture that is called as a contingency table or cross tabulation chi square is the test Okay. 